Do you drink tap or bottled water, and which one's actually safer for you? There are, there's actually a lot to think about before you drink. 10 o'clock news reporter Tara Cardoso did a little digging for us, and she joins us live with the results. Well, Eric, chemicals, contaminants, pollution, and price, all things that you should think about when choosing what to drink. Well, a new study shows you what chemicals are in your tap water and why you should be worried about the stuff that they are not testing for. I wouldn't drink the tap water out of the city. I drink bottles because it's more convenient, but a filter on tap water I think is probably safer, a little less plastic, better for the environment. Do you know what you're putting in your body, in your children's bodies? People are just drinking the stuff and we don't, we don't really know what, what we're drinking. A new study says you should be asking more questions. The Environmental Working Group, a nonprofit organization, looked at tap water quality across the U.S. And it says people are worried for good reason. Yeah, I'm worried about fluoride and chlorine and who knows, lead, old pipes. The study compared water utility records from all across the country. They found contaminants that sometimes go above safety levels, like trihalomethane, which is a liver toxin. And they found more than 200 chemicals in our drinking water that are not government regulated, like cyanide from industrial pollution. Everything that we have up here on the land eventually winds up in the water. That's why Frank Ramos created Save the Water, a nonprofit environmental group based here in South Florida. The amounts of these chemicals may be small, but he says we are slowly poisoning ourselves as a society. Ramos also claims some of the government standards for pollutants are too lax and too dangerous. Very hard to take it all out. But should we be drinking 50 parts per billion of arsenic? I don't think so. But not so fast, according to Florida Atlantic University's Dr. Bill Lauda. He's an environmental biochemist, and he says the water quality is not as bad as it seems. By and large, America has the best tap water in the world. Dr. Lauda agrees there could be more pollutant regulation, but he says too much will come at a cost. Uh, if we tested for every one of these in the water, uh, you know, you could not afford to turn the tap on. We can't protect ourselves from everything that we've done. One of the worst ways we pollute our own drinking water, flushing old prescription pills down the toilet. The professor says if you're really worried about your water... I would spend the money on a final use uh, home filtration system. There's no guarantee bottled water is safe either because it isn't regulated at all. So Save the Water is fighting for tougher laws against big industry and its waste, claiming the government isn't really doing its job to fully protect you. The Environmental Protection Agency has something to do with protecting the environment as long as industry can afford it. Well, the entire tap water study is available online, and it includes a breakdown of all water facilities here in Florida. Just head to our website and click on Water Worries. Now, you can type also in your zip code or your water company and see for yourself exactly what chemicals are in the tap water that you're drinking. Suzanne?